Yo, what's going on? Cuts by Reggie. I'm at work, different location, break room. I'm on lunch, right? Uh, so, first off, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, comment, like, share, dislike the videos, all the good stuff, right? So today we are going to do so in the in the barber industry, like I've always like I always be saying, there's a lot of there's a lot of clippers and trimmers that drop randomly, right? So today we're going to focus on my two favorites at the moment, and that is the Stylecraft Rebel and the Gold Wall Magic Clip. These are my two favorite clippers. Also with the Low Pro, I use the the Low Pro every now and then with the uh with the fade blade on it i do not like the uh the wedge blade so i use the fade blade but between these two these are my two go-to's day in day out so i thought to just let's see the difference or if you were looking to buy a new clipper which one should you purchase all right so starting with the wild magic clip we're going to start with just price right the price of this was $229, and that's from the website. It's $229 from the actual wall website. Now, you can find, I think I've seen it on Atlanta Barber for $183, $185, somewhere around that area. So, from the actual website, $229, but you can find it cheaper on third party websites and different distributor websites, right? So, that's the wall magic clip. As far as the Rebel, this is $170. With my discount code, you can save a little bit more money, right? So, but just based off of the actual price of these, $229 versus $170, already you got um, a big price difference, right? So, depending on what you're trying to spend, depending on what you're looking for and what you're trying to spend, that can be your your, your choosing factor, right? These were dropped. These were dropped. I actually don't know the release date on either one of these, but I got these from uh, the CT Barber Expo. I didn't go, but I had somebody there. Shout out to Concise. Uh, he got these for me while I was while he was in uh, Connecticut for the CT Barber Expo, and that was their uh, their soft launch for these before they was actually available everywhere. And then these were sent to me. Well, not this pair, but these were dropped late last year, like November of 2021, somewhere, so about a year ago, right? And here we are with the Rebels. As you can see, if y'all seen my old videos, the paint and everything, the word and then, which I, I like the red word and that was on there, but no, nonetheless, right? So 229, um, uh, 170. As far as shipping, they get here about the same time. They get to you about the same time, depending on where you're going or where they're going and depending on what, what day you order it on or things of that nature, right? The only problem with the Rebels right now are is that they are having, um, I don't know if it's problems with getting the, the parts in or the actual machine in. So they are having problems with having these in stock. But when they are in stock, they both ship out about a week, maybe a couple days, you know, Three to five days, three to five business days, right? That's what everybody say. Three to five business days, you can have either one of these in your mailbox, all right? So 229, 170, about a week uh, delivery, right? As far as what's included in the box, right? We all know with the uh, Rebel what they like to do, right? Uh, because this is Stylecraft. You got the Stylecraft uh, Gamma. They like to include the different face plates. So with this one, you get a a purple uh, face plate and a sheesh. I don't even remember now, but uh, a purple and a oh, blue and a pink, a blue and a pink, a uh, pinkish purple face plate. Uh, I switched this one to the black one because I wanted to have the black and red. But as you can see, the red has to, uh, been taken off of it. So you will get those. You do get a charging dock. And these come with their double magnetic guards uh, all the way up. It start from the, the half guard all the way up to an eight. All right. So you will get charging dock, different color uh, levers. And this also includes the stretch bracket just in case you want it to open up to a one. You get a little further uh, wider opening. I had that on this, but I do not like the stretch bracket 
which is one of the reasons I don't use like the Oster fast feeds and stuff like I don't like that water open. I get it and it makes sense, but I'd rather just have, uh, you know, just a regular open. And you can also make this a floating lever, which I have this one with the click. And I also have one with just a floating lever, just because I'm used to floating levers. That's what I kind of came into barbering with. Although I do know a lot of uh, companies are moving towards, or a lot of new clippers are moving towards the click lever, which a lot of people like. I'm, I'm not against it, but I don't necessarily need it, right? So you get the charging dock, different color lids, a bunch of accessories, right? I thought I had the boxes here with me, but I've been using these. So the boxes are at the crib, in the garage, stacked up with everything else, right? But that's what's included with the Rebel. As far as the Wall Magic Clip, right? That do comes with the Wall Premium Guards, which the Wall Premium Guards are some of my favorite guards mixed in with the Babeless one and a half and then the uh, a few of the uh, double mags from Stylecraft, right? But the wall uh, system is like one of my favorite. Uh, if you got if, if you bring out a clipper and it takes wall guards, it's going to be easier for me to to use it, right? I do like the um, the purple mags from Andis with, you know, with, you know, using them on the uh, Oster Fast Fees or the uh, Andis Masters, but for the more universal usage, I like the wall uh, premiums, right? So you do get a charging dot, you get the wall premium guards, no click lever, it's just a floating lever, which is, like I said, fine for me, but I do hear a lot of people saying that, you know, some of these older companies should move to a click lever. Uh, on Andes, you know, you got the notches, but you don't have the clicks, right? So you, you, there's a difference there. But as far as what else comes in the box, charging dot, guards, comb, because Wall always going to send you a comb because they like to send out combs. But other than that, that's really all you get. So as far as accessories and the price, you got you 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 probably would choose the rebel right and that's if you are looking for all the accessories me personally i don't need the extra accessories in the sense of face plates and lever changing and stuff yes i did change this but as y'all know i usually don't change my face plate you know what i'm saying it's not a needed it's not a necessity for me to use on my clippers i know as far as the pricing and what's included it might be a bigger bang for your buck. But with the Wall Magic Club actually including a dock, a charging dock, excluding all the accessories, you getting you getting the um not the same but the same because these are 229, these are 170. Right? So as far as accessories, that's what you get. Moving on to the build of the clipper. All right, they both come with, well, this comes with a fade blade. This is the fusion blade now and now called the vapor blade, but it's the same thing. It's kind of a, a combination between the flatness of the fade blade and then the the deep tooth or, you know, I mean, of the of the taper blade. All right. So then you get the fade blade here, the grooves and stuff of the, you, you get what I mean. But you can get the fade blade on this both are good blades i do like the fusion blade a little bit better right uh like i said click lever fade blade you know this is a very light clipper which why which is why this became one of my favorite clippers because of the weight of it i do like a lighter a lighter clipper it just helps me glide better when i'm cutting when i'm when i'm going to you know laying down to her when I'm fading, flicking my wrist or whatever. This is not heavy, but it is. So the Magic Clip used to be a lighter clipper. But with this gold, of course, with the, the, the new build of it, the new motor that's in there, more of a, uh, a senior motor instead of just the, the Magic Clip motor, it gives it more power, more push. They both are rotary motors. I don't know how many RPMs this has because I did not test it and it's not on the box. I know this has 70 to 100 RPM. This feels a little bit more powerful though. The Magic Clip does feel like it got a little bit more push 
a little bit more torque than the than the rebel right but as far as weight this is a little bit heavier but not too much all right like i said floating versus click lever all of this is a preference right i prefer a floating lever but i'm not against the click lever see the power button the build is almost the same uh charging dock of course this takes uh the usb if you on the go don't want to take your take the charging dock or the long cord you got you just a block you can use the uh the usb connector and of course both has a, a hanging hook and that's the that's it right as far as performance with these both are gonna get you a, a great fade both is going to be able to lay down her hair very smooth both will get you through bulk with no problem but this is magic clip right here when i say it goes through bulk a lot easier a lot smoother more than the original magic clip so if y'all been watching my channel for a while thank you for watching thank you for being subscribed if you knew i used to be a magic clip fan i would try all these new clippers but I would eventually end up going back to the Magic Clip, right? Until the Rebels came out. The Rebels came out, it had more power than the Magic Clip. It wasn't as heavy, but it was a little bit, uh, a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier than the Magic Clip, but it had more power, more oomph, more, more bang for your buck. But Wild came back fighting with the Wild Magic Clip, the five star uh, gold edition. And it has more power to it, more push, more umph, right? That's why I still love this. Because I like that blade. I like that blade, right? But that's why these have been my tag team at the moment. Due to the fact that this just has so much power to it. It's getting me back in love with the Magic Clip, right? But this is still lighter. It fades. I think this does fade better. But this goes through bulk better right so as y'all know if y'all been cutting for a while having a tag team of one one that can take down her one that can fade real quick one that you know what i'm saying it's just good to have different blades or different clippers different different reasons right uh i know a lot of people say you should have a fade blade and a taper blade clipper i'm not the biggest fan on taper blades uh i started with taper blades they're fine i think they are better for beginners because they're more forgiving when you're fading and all that stuff but i am a fade blade fan so that's what i like to you know go towards more than anything right mm -hmm. so that's just me explaining yes it's good to have different clippers uh if you want to have uh one with a fade blade and one with a taper blade that's great as well i just like to have fade blades but I do like this fusion blade a lot better than this blade, which they're both great, right? Um, so that's the bill, that's the price, that's the accessories, that's the performance. Now to the sound, how do they sound? Who's quieter? Who's got that loud noise that's annoying you? Which one louder? Let's go, right? Wild Magic Clip. Stylecraft Rebel. They actually both sound the same. They got that same rotary motor sound, that same power. So I was saying this feel like it has more power, but it probably has about the same but for some reason, it just feels when you're using it, it just feels more powerful. But without testing it or, or reading it on a box, I know this says it has 7,200 RPM. This sounds or feels like about the same. So I'm guessing around 72, 7,500 RPM, about the same as the Rebel, right? Um, so that's my comparison between the Wall Magic Clip Gold Edition in the rebel as far as which one you want to go with yes it is a preference and i know somebody gonna say he don't never say which one you should pick right um i'm gonna say you should go with the rebel 
if it was up to me and or not up to me, but if it was you and you at the store, you got enough money for one clipper, right? And you only can buy one. I would say definitely go with the Rebel. It's lighter. It's going to get you power. It's going to go through bulk. It has the accessories if that's what you're looking for. Oh, three hours of runtime, 90 minutes, or 90 minutes to 100 minutes of runtime. So three hours, hour and a half of runtime, right? So you also got that to choose from. But if I'm going to pick, I'm going to go with the Rebel. The only problem with the Rebel at the moment is the, um, the shipping problem, right? Again, I don't know if that's the uh, internals that they have a problem getting, if it's the actual machine that they have a problem getting, but I will keep you informed on when these will be available again, right? So that's my comparison between the wall, the gold magic clip and the rebel, right? Both been out, well, this has been out for about a year. This has been out for about six months and I've been using both back to back. Uh, these are my two go-tos at the moment. If you follow me on Instagram at Cuts by Reggie, you will see videos of me using either one of these, right? If you see the other one, the other one got the purple lid on it, pink lid, blue lid, got another lid on it, right? And then uh, this one got the black. And then, of course, the gold magic clip is the gold magic clip, right? 229, 170, 180 on other websites. Save you some money using uh, Cuts by Reggie. Um, rotary motor, they both rotary motor. Pretty much come with the fade blade. They are almost identical clippers. Almost. I say you go with the Rebel. But I'm not against you choosing this. <laughs> so that's what I be saying when I be trying to compare. It's not really to say this is the only one you have to go with. But it is just to compare the difference between different clippers. There are so many out here that we all trying to grab a hold of. But you really don't need all the clippers. If you're going to get one, get you the Rebel. Um, I'll let you follow me on Instagram. I'll let you know when they back in stock. So that's the video for the day. I wish I had the boxes here with everything in it. I don't wish I did. I don't. Right. But that's my opinion or that's my comparison between the Stylecraft Rebel and the Wild Gold Magic Clip. Right. If you like the videos, like the videos. If you dislike the videos, dislike the videos. Comment, share. Please subscribe to the channel. We almost to that 10,000, almost to 10,000, right? I'm trying to get a giveaway together for once we do hit that 10,000 mark. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel because at the 10,000 mark, this giveaway will only be for subscribers on of the channel. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Peace.